So in this video, I just wanted to share how I've been able to manage my time and how you can optimize your time while coding. Time management is something that almost no developer coder talks about, but this played such an integral role to my uh, coding journey and the way that I learned code. And I would just like to share my findings with you and maybe you can take something out of this video. So with that being said, let's just get right into the video. So first things first, right? We have to answer the question, what is time management? You know, some people say it's managing your time. No shit, right? But the actual definition of time management, guys, is what you do with your time. So I'm going to say what. So it's what you do with your time. And coding time management then, guys, obviously, I'm just simplifying it, is what you do with your time while coding. Now we'll get into like the more specifics about what to actually do to optimize your coding time. But what you have to understand is that your time and what you spend your time on, AKA your time management with code directly influences your results with coding. So if you are not spending your time in the right places, if you are wasting time on things that don't truly matter and don't yield the best results, you will not see the results that you want to see, right? So, what are the things that we spend time on coding, right? Reading, right? That's the first thing. You know, we read, uh, obviously learn projects, tutorials. And I'm obviously missing th some things. Um, oh, talking to other developers, videos, okay? Like uh, topics like this, okay? So these are the main things that we spend our time on to learn code. Now, obviously, you know, some people will be spending more time in video, tutorials, projects, learning. Uh, by learning, I mean just like on like free code camp and stuff. And other people like to talk to other people. I don't know who's, who's doing that, but whatever. Okay, so the issue then would be why are some people... Okay, so we have like uh, the time management and... Uh, Okay, so we have where we spend our time and like what we're doing to spend our time. So maybe saying, okay, Nizar, like, what am I doing wrong? And what are a lot of developers doing wrong that, you know, they're not seeing results, right? They are spending their time doing the wrong things and they're doing too much of something or too little of something. Let me explain, okay? So let's say there is two developers, okay? There is Gilbert... And there is Aries. These are our two characters in our channel. Aries is the ideal programmer and Gilbert is the loser programmer that we don't want to be like. This thing is going to fall off. Okay. Gilbert, let's say, he talks to people. Gilbert reads all the time. He, let's say, watches tutorials. Okay. And let's say these three things are the main things that he focuses on. Okay. Aries, on the other hand, let's say he reads a little bit, he learns a little bit, and he does projects. Although Gilbert, in theory, he is doing videos as well. Although in theory, right, Gilbert talks to people, he's doing more in theory, right? He's doing four different modes of learning. Everyone agrees that Aries is the one that's going to be the better programmer. Why is that? Aries is doing the correct things to manage his time coding. And we'll get into the right way to manage your time. But I just want to show you that the amount you do. So this guy's doing four. This guy's doing three. Does not matter at all. You can do a hundred different types of ways of learning and like managing your time with this special reading technique or special way of watching videos or, or doing tutorials. You will not see the results if you're spending the time in the wrong areas. And I believe this is why so many people fail code. They're doing too much of something. They're doing too little of something. So our friend here, Gilbert, right? What is he doing wrong? He is not spending enough time learning and not spending enough time doing his projects. Okay, those are the two main aspects of code. So there is learning and projects. I don't care what you tell me. These two, out of all the things in my one year of coding right now, 
These are the only things you want to focus on and manage your time with. You could do whatever you want within this, but we'll delve deeper. But these two things are all you need to become a developer and to manage your time as a coder to see the best results possible. So our friend Gilbert here, right? Maybe he talks, maybe he reads, maybe he watches videos and tutorials. And you may be saying, but Nazar, isn't that learning? Sort of, but by learning, right? What do I mean by learning in specific? By learning guys, I mean uh, like free code camp. I mean actual, actual video lessons. There's like a progression. That's a perfect way of saying progress. So think of CS50, think of um, free code camp, think of code academy. Those style of learning has been, for me at least, the ideal way of doing it. Now, there's obviously going to be a lot of people that don't want to do this, but for me and in my in my case, and I, I feel like maybe like at least 75% of the people watching, doing the learning this way optimizes your time and you'll, you're optimizing your time significantly if you're learning like this. Now we can say, okay, you're probably telling me then, okay, but Nizar, what if Gilbert is learning? He's, he's doing this. Every, a lot of people do this, right? Like most people I know are in free code camp or CS50. Well, the other side of time management and where I totally fuck up all the time is projects. Now projects, guys, is so hard and I hate doing them sometimes because of how hard it is, okay? What are projects? Fuck me, this is going to fall off. What are projects, guys? Projects are the things that we build, okay? Build things maybe like an application or a very basic thing that we're doing on our own. Essentially, it's what we learned here, but doing it on our own. So on our own. So triple O, which is actually quite funny. So things that we do on our own, on, our, on the side. So what you want to do, guys, then is this is the ultimate thing is to split your time between learning lessons and then doing projects. I, 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 I want to explain this, but obviously if you're a beginner, you're going to want to spend more time in learning because you don't know as much, but if you've been coding for some time, maybe you finished a, an HTML or CSS lesson, then you want to do projects after too. So here's a good train of thought, okay? Once you're done with a course, so let's say you finished uh, an, a JavaScript course, like through and through, okay? By the end of that course, instead of moving on to React, instead of moving on to whatever, Next.js or another sort of language, go straight into building projects for like a month or two. So maybe spend an, a month or two on like the learning the fundamentals through like free code camp or something. And then once you're done, head over to the projects. I can't stress enough how important the project side is. If you could, if you would want to pick one, it would be projects because you're going to just learn so much more through that. I know eight or nine developers that have told me they don't know code after a year. Okay, I have a friend of mine, he's been coding for a year, but all he does is learn through these platforms and he doesn't apply. This makes you learn new things. It introduces you to concepts. It introduces you to, to newer things like parts of JavaScript or learning data structures. And the project solidifies what you learn. Anyone can do this, but no one wants to do the projects because that's where the true hard things are. When I started out with JavaScript, I finished javascript lessons twice okay so let me put you in the scenario i was coding for about six months i knew i did not know how to build anything and i went through one python course and two javascript courses at the time i thought i was the shit because i was going through all these courses but when someone told me to go do the projects i you know i started sweating a little bit because i, I knew like i didn't know how to code and when it was actually time to build a project and at the time it was a sleep calculator application I literally sat at my computer for four hours, looking at my screen, panicking like crazy, thinking to myself, how the fuck am I going to build this? And how did I get myself into this situation? I spent six months of my life doing lessons, learning by talking, learning by reading, doing tutorials, watching videos, doing free code camp work, code academy work. 
but I did not learn how to apply it. At the end of the day, coding is simply applying shit, right? It's applying what you have learned into code. You're talking to a computer through code and you don't learn code through watching videos. You learn code by sort of suffering, embracing, running into errors and solving bugs in the moment. And by doing that, by looking for the answers online, by trying to solve it on your own is where you're going to solidify and every single thing. Another story of mine, every time, everything I remember right now, like when I'm coding, it's not like I remember, oh, I remember learning data structures in, in free code camp. I don't remember like that. Every coder remembers things, maybe slightly through lessons, but he remembers most of his things because he's done projects and he recalls something he learned through projects. And that is where you will find it on your own. You have to get over the training wheels. You have to get over the, the, the coddling of lessons, of videos, of tutorials and do it through projects. So guys, in summary, you want to manage your time with learning and projects. Depending on where you are in your journey, you, you, it might be 50-50, it might be 70% learning, 20%, 30% projects. Good thing I'm not in maths. It could be maybe 10% and 90% projects if you're more intermediate, if you already knew the basics. But in some way, shape, or form, guys, most of your coding time should be in these two things. I, I, I want to disclaim, I, I want to put a disclaimer I'm all for videos, I'm all for reading, I'm all for tutorials, I still use them, I love using them. But I'm just saying, if you want like a way to simplify things and spend most of your time in things and see the optimal results, these are the two where you're gonna see the highest rate of return because that's where most of coding is. You're learning something new and you're getting good at that thing through the project, okay? So I hope I simplified this. I hope, you know, you learned something new and you apply this and you understand that these are the only things you want to do. Um, again, you can do whatever you want. Coding is like that. I'm just sharing whatever I want. So if you want coaching, if you want a one-on-one -on -one and understanding of code or you want to solve some bugs or you want me to just walk you through a concept, we, we can do a lot of things. Then sign up for coaching in, in the description below as well as the web developer roadmap is also done. So if you want like a roadmap to coding and you, you know, you want like a structured way, it's free, um, then check it out in the description below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love every single one of you to understand. Thank you so much for 2K subscribers. You guys are the best community out there. Oh, also the Discord is in the description. Check out the Discord. Bunch of self-taught developers. We have such an amazing community and it's really coming to be one of my favorite places to be. Anyways, this has been the time management skills. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.